Here we go. If I have solid copper sitting in copper sulfate and solid iron sitting in iron sulfate, which way is the reaction going to go? Is the copper going to lose electrons or is the copper going to gain electrons? Is the iron going to lose electrons or is the iron going to gain electrons? Really the only way to figure this out is to figure out something called E cell. And we do that by writing down the half reactions that we think are going to happen, looking them up in a table of reduction potentials, and then adding them together to see what value we get for E naught cell. Let's try this one. I'm going to assume in this case that the copper gains electrons to make solid copper, and that the iron loses electrons to become iron 2 plus. This is a reduction. This is an oxidation. To figure out whether or not this reaction happens as I've written here, I have to look up each reaction in a table of reduction potentials. Copper 2 plus 2 electrons makes solid copper. In my table of reduction potentials, I find Copper 2 plus 2 electrons makes solid copper. And that gives off 0.34 volts of potential. 0.34 volts. Now here I've got iron becoming iron 2 plus and 2 electrons. What I have written in my table of reduction potentials is not that. I've got iron 2 plus and 2 electrons becoming solid iron. That's the exact reverse. The reason is, this is a table of reduction potentials. These are all reductions or gains of electrons. This here is written as an oxidation. So if I flip this, I get Fe arrow, Fe2 plus, which is what I have here. So what I have to do is flip the sign of the voltage. This becomes plus. 0.44 volts. Now, what's important to note here is that when I add these two reactions together, I have two electrons on the left and two electrons on the right. Copper 2 plus and two electrons and Fe solid all on the left becomes copper and Fe2 plus and two electrons all on the right. But two electrons on both sides will cancel each other out, and I'm left with the overall reaction for the cell. What is E cell? E cell is what I get when I add these together. 0.34 plus 0.44 is 0.78 volts. So this overall redox reaction has an E cell or standard cell potential of 0.78 volts. This is a spontaneous reaction, or it happens exactly as I've written here because E cell is positive. Positive E cell means it happens as written. What I want to show you is, what if I guessed that it had happened the opposite way? Instead of copper to an iron, we started with iron 2 and copper. Well, we look up each half reaction in the table of reduction potentials. Iron 2 and 2 electrons combine to make iron. That's negative 0.44 volts. And I have copper becoming copper 2 plus and giving off 2 electrons. I have the opposite reaction here, so I have to flip the sign of my potential. This is actually negative 0.34 volts. When I add this reaction together, Fe2 plus and copper and two electrons on the left, Fe and two electrons and copper 2 plus on the right. Oops, <laughs> didn't mean to cross that one out. My total E cell when I add these up is negative 0.78. This is not spontaneous. It does not happen as written because E cell is negative.
you're going to have to remember negative E cell, not spontaneous, positive E cell, spontaneous. But what you'll notice is, if I can find my old sheet, yeah, that copper 2 mixed with solid iron is a spontaneous reaction, but copper mixed with iron 2 is not a spontaneous reaction. You'll have to take an educated guess about which is going to happen, figure out your E cell, and make sure that it's positive if you want to predict which direction your reaction goes in. So, to wrap this up, it's not spontaneous when you mix solid copper with iron 2, but it is spontaneous to have iron become iron 2 plus and copper 2 to become copper. So, what's happening in this cell is that copper 2 plus is becoming copper and iron is becoming iron 2. We just found that out. So, this one is giving off electrons, this one is absorbing electrons, and the direction of electron flow is from where it's being given off into where it's being absorbed. Hey, best of luck to you when you're using reduction potentials to figure out if a reaction is spontaneous or not. Cheers.